Here's another example of an operation for vectors that's really simple to uh, manually calculate. We won't use it as much in this particular course, the multivariable calculus, but when you're measuring forces and things related to the physics of forces, uh, you need to know how to add vectors. So here's the concept. If you have a vector u, again two-dimensional for these examples right now, it has two components and vector v has two components, we'll call it v1 and v2, then if we're giving the numerical form of the vectors, the sum of the two vectors is literally just the sum of their corresponding components. So the x components u1 and v1 would be added and the y components u2 and v2 would be added. And that sense the definition of addition is doesn't really even seem that impressive but it does seem pretty easy maybe the instructor will put a bunch of those on the test and give me like extra points for them dream on so let's take a look at uh, example and for this example we are looking at uh, the vector u is equal to negative 4 comma 2 so if it starts here then it will go left 1 2 3 4 units 1 2 units up and it will look something like this right here all right there's your vector u now there are a number of ways to go about the addition, um, but let me first do the formula for the for the addition, and then we'll look at the visual. So vector v is going to be the vector two comma one. So according to the addition definition, if we add the matching x components, we would get negative two. And if we add the matching y components, we would get 3. And we would end up with the vector negative 2, 3. So I'm going to just do something a little bit backwards here. Starting from this point here, if I go 1, 2 to the left and 1, 2, 3 units up, I would get this vector here. So there is my sum. I want you to observe from this endpoint to this point here is the vector 2, 1. If you perform what is called the, sometimes called the tip to tail method, the tip of the first vector touches the tail of the second vector and this endpoint from the very first starting point that is a way to to sketch the vector for the sum of two vectors there is a name for this vector right here I'm going to call it capital letter R and that R stands for resultant um, the sum of two could be more than two vectors but we're only going to look at two vectors in our examples here so let me just put single quotes in that to know that that could change let me show you another visual uh, way of looking at the sum of two vectors remember you have a pause button use it if you have to Let me slide around here, get myself organized. So here's two vectors. Vector u and vector v. 
They're not drawn in the tip to tail fashion. They come from the same starting point. One, two to the right, one, two, three, four, five, six units up. Okay, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep, two and six. And vector V is one, two, three, and one. If I want to find what's called the resultant plus V, that would be the vector five comma seven. Now let me draw this resultant from the same starting point. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Get myself all turned around here. I'm just going to put R, capital R for resultant, put a vector symbol on it. Now, I don't expect my own students to just say, oh yeah, that picture makes sense. Uh, I hope they can do the arithmetic and I hope they can draw it, but I don't need the picture to have any light bulbs. But if you were to connect these two points we could do the tip to tail measurement remember so long as the vector has the same direction and the same magnitude that vector is equal to vector V and I can even draw it here and I could go vector V plus vector U and get to that same endpoint and you will see that this resultant is actually the diagonal of a parallelogram. I didn't write that out because this particular course is not going to dwell very deeply into that right now. But I want you to see that visual. Hopefully a trigonometry or a physics or some other teacher has played with this aspect of adding vectors. All right, I keep coming back. We've got a few more basics to work on.